Hello and welcome back to another Reality Check VR video. Today we're just going to make a quick, quick video and show you how to make a breakout cable for your Oculus Rift. That's right, in case you need some extra feet, maybe 10 or 15 feet extra, you can do that. And it's very, very easy. So let me show you how. I usually use some scissors, some zip ties, some electrical tape, 10 or 15 foot HDMI cable, HDMI repeater, 10 or 15 foot USB 3 cable, mesh covering. All right, so if you've watched my previous videos, you'll actually notice I used some heat shrink uh, in the previous cable. You can certainly use heat shrink. Heat shrink works just fine. It is a little more difficult, and getting the cables through that heat shrink uh, was actually very, very tedious. So using this kind of an actual, like, a, a, a mesh covering, it's much, much easier to get the cables through, and it still looks just as nice. Um, and I actually have been using it a lot for the 3D printers lately, so I kind of just use this for everything now, and I, I, I prefer it, so. All right, one question I get quite often is uh, people keep asking me, they say, hey, Oculus recommends the 2.0 sensor, and you keep talking about the 3.0 sensor. And the big clarification right here is that Oculus recommends the 2.0 because they want it to be more compatible with more PCs. 3.0, of course, is going to get you the fastest speed. It's going to get you uh, the best experience overall. And it's, of course, not going to work with every PC, every motherboard out there. So you do want to make sure that you do have a proper uh, either board or extra you know, USB 3.0 cards to support this. Uh, if you do, you're going to be just fine. Uh, regardless, this also does have backwards compatibility for 2.0, so you still can plug it into a 2.0 spot, and it'll still work just fine. So what we're gonna do right here is for this cable I'm gonna be making a 15 foot cable because that's what was in the order. Uh, you can also make a 10 foot cable if you have any problems with like sound popping or blackout screens. Sometimes people's computers don't also work with the 15 foot one so 10 foot will usually fix that problem right there. Everybody's computer is a little bit different but I haven't seen anybody's computer not work with at least the 10 foot version. Okay so let's jump right into this one. First we're gonna pull the cables out of their packages. Okay, so step two is I'm going to actually take the length of the USB and I'm going to take this mesh cable cover and I'm going to just kind of extend it the entire way as we pull this cable out. So now we know that we're probably going to end up cutting this cable right around here. So now we have the mesh cable already cut and ready to go. Next we take a look at the HDMI cable. The monoprice ones actually have a piece that says source and of course a sticker that says display so you know which side goes to which. The size that says source is what you want to be with the male USB and of course the part that says display is what you want to have next to the female part of the USB. So display is going to be next to this piece right here. Display and the female USB 3.0 are going to go in the same spot so these guys are pretty much going to be right next to each other. The one big difference is this guy still needs to have the repeater added to it. So the part that says display is going to have the repeater. And on the repeater you can see there is an input and an output right here on the repeater. So input, output, and display. Where do you think this guy goes? Where do you think this guy goes? Hmm? You're correct. The display part actually goes into the input. So display goes into the input and then the output is going to be where you're actually going to plug in your headset. And then of course your USB 3.0 on your headset is going to plug into this. So these guys are going to go right next to each other. And of course if you always want to make sure these guys are going to be put the proper way, it's always nice to have an Oculus cable nearby. Alright, so mine looks like that right there. So I'm going to go ahead and take these two guys. Okay, so this right here is the Oculus cable and this right here is the breakout cable. So you can see we want the Oculus cable to be able to plug directly into the breakout cable. So the breakout cable is going to go together just like this right here. So this basically needs to get zip tied together and then we're going to tape it and then put the mesh cable around it. Okay so here we have the cable actually zip tied already together and uh, you can see this connection right here is the one spot that you may potentially in the future it's probably never going to come undone. It's probably just fine. Um, so what we'll do is we're just going to go a ways. To prevent these cables from twisting too much along the way, I actually like to uh, put a little bit of electrical tape around every, I don't know, three feet or so. Okay, now it's time to put the cable into the mesh piece. So we have to, of course, start it by making it big. 
Once you've made it big, you put the thing in the hole. Perverts. Okay, now that we have the basics of the cable complete, ah, we have one end like this right now. We haven't finished it just yet. We have the other end that has been uh, taken right down to where the HDMI and about another one foot of USB cable resides. And that will allow us to kind of just keep those cables right there together. And that is just how we're going to keep this end right here. And like I said, this other end, the only thing that we need to do right now is I'm going to wrap some electrical cable all around this guy right here just to keep it nice and secure. Plus. Uh, right now, the thing is, it's all plastic, so let's say you drop it and it hits the ground, bam, it hits the ground. Because it's a hard plastic, it's very likely to, you know, chip or, you know, pop off with some of the plastic pieces. So by wrapping it in electrical tape, it actually makes it softer, so if it does slam the ground on a hard surface, it, it doesn't make a loud noise, it also doesn't break the unit nearly as much. So, uh, a simple wrap of electrical tape will not only keep it together more, but also protects it from falls. So, this is basically the last step of the cable right here. So there's the end of the cable, it's finished. That right there is how I like it to look, and that is the end of it. So right now we're gonna wrap it up, and you gotta make sure you wrap it up the right way. Remember, remember, there is the production wrapping up style. All right, you gotta pay attention, okay? Okay, so you wanna hold your cable, and you wanna swing it around, like this, all right? We're gonna make it this size, right here. This is the size we want it to be. And now our next one, Rather than bringing it back around like this again, we don't want to keep doing this because this is just coiling it up. So this next time, we're going to take this and we're going to bring it inside. Watch. We're going to bring it inside. We're going to hand this one to my other fingers on the inside. So not outside, inside. And you just got to kind of make sure it loops just the same way. And now this one's coming out the middle. See it's coming out the, yeah, you see it's coming out the middle now? Now it's coming out the middle. This one you wrap like normal. And now it just goes, lays up on the edge, right? Wrap like normal. Now the next one, same thing. You grab it down here and you bring it to the inside. You flip it. You flip it up to the inside. Now you've got the inside of the cable there. It's coming out that middle again, like I showed you before, kind of. And then you wrap it up just like normal. That one comes off the end. And then right after you wrap it like normal, you bring it up to the inside again. And sometimes you might want to actually spin the cable on the bottom, but yeah, it should, should be all nice and easy. Bring it to the inside, and then this one wraps like normal. This way, when you're unwrapping it, you can literally just drop the cable, and you can walk away, and it all undrops nicely without any, any tangles at all. So, alright, so this piece right here is going to go together, just like this, and now we're just going to zip tie it. That's right, we're letting the hair out. Woo! Having a good time. All right, so that's the cable. That's it. That's, that's, that is a 15 foot breakout cable. Aha! And uh, you can actually purchase these on provrgear.com or you can uh, buy them yourself with the links below. I've got some Amazon affiliate links down below that has all these same products in there. Uh, so you can either make it yourself, you can have me make one for you, or you know, you, you can just keep wishing you had one. All right, no, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, uh, this is the 15 foot version. Not all computers are gonna work with it, uh, depending on your motherboard. The 10 foot version uh, is one that definitely does work with more computers, but I personally, I personally use a 15 foot cable with exactly these same pieces right here. So this is the same cable that I use at home, and I hope this video helped you guys out. I hope it was informative, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, bye.